Warning, flammable, emit smoke. Okay, makes sense. For outdoor use only, <laughs> also makes sense. Hold in hand, point away from face, body, or clothing. All right. I wonder how hard you have to pull this string to make it go. Today we're doing some smoke bomb photography. Roll that intro. What's up ladies and gents, welcome back. For those of you who are new, I'm Daniel. Hit that subscribe button, just whoa, get that out of the way quick. And today we are doing some smoke grenade photography, smoke bomb photography, flares, whatever you may call it. We're actually going into the forest to shoot because you're not supposed to let off the flares like in populated areas, especially if they're black or white smoke because you know people could think that's fire. So we're just getting out of the way, you know, just be a little bit safe about it. You should probably check with your like local laws if you're even allowed to set them off because I know a lot of places you're not allowed to set them off. So do your homework before you set it off and let's see what happens. We'll start shooting and I'll give you guys the rundown on how to do it, what you should and shouldn't know, if it's safe, try not to kill the model, stuff like that. I think it might be a little bit tough because you have like a limited time to use it. I think each one is like a minute of smoke, so you kind of have to like prep and then shoot accordingly, so let's do it. So initially I wanted to do the shoot with, you know, obviously a good looking woman and uh, Sometimes things don't go according to plan, so I picked the next best thing I could find. It's me again. Yeah, it's Eric again, so let's, yeah, let's, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, it's good enough. All right. So I think that went okay, Eric. What do you think? That was pretty good. Yeah, the a little wind, cold. A little cold. The wind was a little bit of a pain. Yeah, blew a little bit of smoke in my eyes, but um, no worse for wear. It's tough to get photo and video, so if you're gonna like try to do both, you should probably get a good handful of them, like at least ten. Yeah, probably. But uh, do it on warmer days, though. So. Let's uh, let's take these into Photoshop and see what kind of results we got here. All right. So, first things first, we're gonna chalk this one up to a learning experience. I'm not exactly thrilled with the way the shoot went. Not entirely my fault or anyone specifically, mostly the weather. Now, I learned that when you're dealing with smoke grenades, you really need ideal conditions in terms of like weather. It was too windy out and like Eric was walking around with the grenades and the smoke was literally only in and around his area for like a split second. Didn't really work that well. You gotta be really quick. You need a high shutter speed. For some of the shots, I did not have that. I have two shots that we took that I I liked, I kind of I kind of salvaged into something that I do like. Um, the first one's this one right here. It's Eric holding one of the orange smoke bombs in front of him. I added a little bit of like embers to it just to like, just to spice it up a little bit. And I also darkened his face because I mean, do you really want to look at Eric? I'm just kidding, buddy. I love you and you're a handsome young man and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I actually like, darkened out his face to make it a little bit more ominous and dark and I figured that was the vibe that I was going for so it seemed to make sense he's not actually that bad looking of a guy ladies he has a girlfriend so cut that out um, and the next picture of him is this one with one of the red smoke grenades um, I just like this one because he was relatively still like his face is nice and sharp it's in focus but he was moving the smoke bomb around so that you've got that like kind of wispy motion blur from that. It's sort of fading off into the background into like an orangey and you've got the red bomb out front. Looks cool, like composition wise I was pretty happy with it. I mean all things considered they're not like spectacular photos but they're also not the worst considering the conditions we had to deal with. It was also insanely cold so if you're gonna do something like this 
Make sure there's A, no wind, and B, it's not like minus eight outside because then like your hands freeze up and you just don't want to be out there and it sort of ruins the vibe, but take from it what you will. It was like a learning experience. I think it turned out okay. Why don't you guys let me know down below in the comments what you think of the photos. I am 100% going to try this again because it's an awesome concept. I think the shots that I did before, I'll just flash them on the screen here quick. I think these ones turned out a little bit better. You can see all of them on Instagram. Um, again, you just got it's trial and error and I guess this time was an error so I just got to keep trying. If you guys like this stuff, if you guys want to see more of these cool shoots, let me know in the comments, like this video, subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love ya.